friends at Vodafone, my name is Sebastian, I'm part of the Tag Heuer Porsche Formula E team. As you know, currently there are no races going on, but as your world is all about staying connected, we want to connect you even more to our Porsche world. And therefore, we are right here at the beautiful Porsche Museum, which is currently closed, but just for you guys, we get a sneak view into it. So let's go. The founder of our company, Ferdinand Porsche, was born in 1875. When he was 11 years old, the automobile was invented. He was quite big into electricity, electronics, so at just 16 years old, he would electrify the household of his parents. Later on, he joined an electrical company, worked there, and then he got joined by a company which, which was building horse carriages. At this point, he combined his expertise for, on the one hand, electricity and mobility and built this vehicle right behind me. So here we got the Egerloner C2 Electromobile. This was Ferdinand Porsche's first vehicle in his working life. It's an electrical vehicle from 1898. It had a battery sitting right here. You see the engine down there it was having three to five horsepower, top speed 25 kilometers an hour. This may sound very slow to you, but 25 kilometers in 1898 was super fast. So sort of typical Porsche. And the car actually had 12 modes to drive. You had six modes to go forward. Uh, you had four braking modes and two reverse modes. And on top of this, it had a ring on the steering wheel to cut off the electricity. So when you wanted to stop, you just push the entire ring and the electricity would cut off and the car would stop. All right, guys, this was it for today about Porsche history. I hope you liked it. Make sure you tune in for the next episode.